but you didn't have to cut me off. Was it too much? Yeah, it was too much. Ugh. Don't they have anything here that isn't covered with stupid little hearts? Gross. Wow. I really am clueless. Clearly he doesn't have the same concern. I'm sorry if I'm trying to be spontaneous and fun. It means that I'm not for sale. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I may have mentioned it. How often do you talk? <laughs> this song is for anyone that's ever been cheated on. This is insane. I didn't cheat on you. You don't have to snap your fingers. It's not going to make it come any faster. It's like you can't even wait to get out of here. It's hard to look right. Hard to go right. At you, babe. At you, babe. When they do rob me right behind the lack of vision anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with someone. And how can I play any of the scenes if I have ruined mine? The Secret Society of Superheroes Club is now in session. Everything in this room reminds me of him. We were a dynamic duo in here. It's not okay, Sam, because I cheated on the one person that I love more than anything in this world. I hurt him. Wow, um, Tina. I don't know what to say. Um, no. That seems a little crazy. No. That seems a little Tina Cohen Chang. Respect. You! I know you're behind this. <laughs> Come on! That's completely inexcusable! And it's not true! Not really! This is officially a feud between you and me! Because I don't want to jeopardize our friendship. I mean, you've Dude, been there for me okay, throughout this whole thing. No, don't worry about it. Nothing's gonna change. Fair. Stop. Nothing is going to change. Yeah, and I look like Siegfried and Roy, and I still did it. Nothing! Why can't you guys just stop resisting me for a second and just go with me? Oh. Looks like somebody's menstruating. I heard that! You're early. Jeez! Oh, Brad! You scared the crap out of me. Warn me before you talk. This week's lesson is all about the most inspiring guy we know. Blaine! You're my best friend. I know this sounds like a humble brag, but honestly, I feel like sometimes things just get handed to me. Really? Hmm. I never noticed that. This was supposed to be our night. Our little family, our friendly threesome. So I guess you guys can just have fun hanging out by yourselves tonight and fondle each other's boobs or whatever. First, the box seems big enough for the two of you, but then the box begins to shrink. The box. Blink, do you have to use a soda stream machine right now? Are you in a very fragile state? Sorry. <laughs> so we spent the entire night disinfecting everything, taking <gasps> silkwood showers and disinfecting everything again. Right, Elliot, what, what, is, what does Elliot have to do with any of this? We were talking. I bet you were talking. He's my friend. I bet he's your friend. Calm down, psycho, all right? And, and stop being so pouty and weird. It's annoying. Right? Elliot thinks that, and Elliot's hair is so full and thick that he doesn't have to rely on hair gel. Wow. I may not be a cool, steampunk, glitter rock vampire with, like, tats and guy liner, but you know what? I love Kurt. I love him. He's my fiancé, not yours. So back off. Uh-huh. And there's always room in the tum-tum for my newest obsession, cronuts. If a croissant and a donut made sweet, sweet love, their baby would be a cronut. A flaky yet buoyant sugar-kissed pastry of perfection. Just cut the crap, Blaine. I'm actually feeling a little jealous. Back in the Kinley, I'd be the guy getting fawned over. I lifted, I boxed, I, I was in the Dalton Fight Club for God's sakes. And what the hell, Kurt? Blaine, are you okay? I'm fine. Fratboyphysicals.com isn't gonna judge me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He was gone. My therapist told me I should concentrate on the thing I loved most, music. And then I couldn't even do that. Don't act all cool and loving about this, Kurt. I'm sure you're very happy about all of this. I wouldn't be surprised you made this all happen after seeing me with Dave. I think that maybe you and Mr. Schuster would take it easy on us. Oh, no way. No, no, no. Absolutely not. No one's going easy on anybody. <laughs> nope. Stop banging. No one can hear you. I think that he thinks that there's 
There's still something between us. Which there obviously isn't. Obviously. I want my dream back. Okay. I still don't get what you're talking about, though. Yes, you do. Just think about it. There was a fire at Dalton. It burned to the ground. There's nothing left. The Academy's gone. Them on your dreams. 